Okay, welcome back. We're now going to look at um, section five, which is all about factors affecting the choice of the user interface. So things that people, organizations have to consider, have to think about before deciding on something. Um, because there are different types. I mean, some you might ask yourself, okay, you know what? I can. I need to make a report, yeah? In fact, it's something we discussed early on one of the videos uh, before we started this component. And I said the method itself doesn't really matter as long as you have a presentation or a report. Now, if you were to do a report, you've got an option now. You can use Microsoft Word or you can use Google Documents, which is what I'm using in front of you right now. And if you're in my class, you're going to use Google Documents. You haven't got a choice for the practice. Now, when you do the real thing, you can choose whatever you like. So the question is this. What made you choose that? Like, if you were to go and buy a house or a car or even just a pair of trainers, if there was only one pair of trainers available, full stop, there's nothing else there, your choice is made for you because there's only one there to pick from. But if there's a few thousand to pick from, which is what the case is, and you go to you know trainer shop after trainer shop after trainer shop, and if you count all the trainer designs and models and brands that are out there and have have existed, um, you know there's quite a lot to pick from. So then, how do you choose it? So you you'd be thinking about okay, the design. You're going to be thinking about the brand. You're going to be thinking about the colors, the colors, the materials, the price, uh, how long you think it's going to last. So which basically means the performance. I mean, there's no point. Purchase something for a hundred pounds or, or 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 more than that, if you think the materials aren't good enough and it's going to last only half half a month or half a year, um, you know you want to think about those kind of things and that's logical and it happens in our day to day lives with most things when it comes to food, uh, shopping, clothes, even games. So, user interfaces. There's no difference. You have to consider certain factors. Now, to help you put down that in the um, BTEC Award official book, on page 10 and 11, uh, there is an explanation of these factors. So the first thing you need to do for the section five is talk about uh, what these factors are. So what are they? Why and why are they important? Okay, so I'm gonna go over here and you'll see this is what the page looks like, and if you're in my class, you'll have seen this already. And there's a whole list of things. So first things first, you need to talk about, okay, it's important before choosing a user interface, there's a number of factors that we need to consider. So what I've just said just then is basically like a, st a paragraph starting off introducing what these factors are. And if you read through, you'll see it says it here very similarly as well. When choosing a user interface for a device or a task, it's important to consider carefully different factors to ensure that the chosen user interface is suitable, meaning it's the right one. In this lesson, you're going to learn the different areas that you should consider before choosing or designing a user interface. So these are the things you need to con you have to talk about to get the top marks. You have to talk about performance. What do we mean by performance? Why is that important? Read through this. If you need to pause it here, you can do it. If not, check your own copies of this book. As I said, page 10 and 11. Then you need to talk about user requirements. My class, you made notes on this in your in your exercise books. What are user requirements? But well, that's simply to talking about what do the users require. The word require just means what they need, what they want. What is it that they are looking to do with the software? You know, uh, a piece of software that might be used by um, a cafe store in a um, in a supermarket uh, will need s different things on on their screen uh, than say someone that might be working in an accountancy firm or a solicitor's firm because they're working with two different kinds of, firm of information two different types of clients the frequencies are a lot different as well in a cafe they'll be serving someone you know maybe once every three or four minutes yeah maybe a few hundred people per day in an accountancy firm or a solicitor's firm they might serve 10 or 15 people a day i don't know so you know the, the frequency is different so therefore the requirements are different as well so you need to consider those things as well you need to consider ease of use so these are the subtitles you need to talk about in this section you have to talk about in this intro that there are many factors that you need to consider these include performance the user requirements the ease of use the user experience and accessibility features and last but not least storage space as well and then you need to go through each one as a bare minimum you need at least a couple of sentences for each one talking about what they mean and why they are important okay so you got this if you need to pause it here you can do um but you should have your own copies going back to this the next part, and this is where your own research will come in again, and this, if you haven't noticed already, this is all research. This is you finding out, explaining, and proving your expertise that you know what UIs are, user interfaces. So you're looking at different uh, different versions, you're looking at different examples, you're looking at different applications, how or when they're being used, and now we're going to talk about the pros and cons for each one. And I would expect you to do at least three pros, 
Yeah, three good things about GUIs and three bad things. Okay, then you're talk about three bad, uh, good things about menus and three bad, uh, three good things about menus and three bad things. And in this book, you should have um, elements here that could help you with that. Uh, but remember, you got the internet as well, so you got certain things here, and you should be able to read through this and see, okay, what so this is good or bad. So one of these points is that you need a powerful graphics uh, card. Uh, to make it run because it's got millions of pixels. So you have to ask yourself, okay, is that a good thing or a bad thing? If a company has to buy a powerful graphics card, okay, so that, that means they need to buy a, a, a more uh, durable uh, piece of hardware. Is that going to be more costly or is that going to be the uh, same price as uh, something that's not going to be as powerful? Typically speaking, common sense which should dictate that actually if it's something more powerful, it's going to be more expensive. It's may, maybe more costly to put it in and the maintenance costs and so on and so forth. So that's a bad thing. But then the good things will be the things that you think, okay, that's a good reason why you'd have that interface makes it is logical. So therefore, that's a good thing. So yeah, so you have to read through this and find what the pros and cons are from there. And go into the previous page, uh, look for the menu. There it is. Read through that and find out what the pros and cons are. But again, if you have to look online, then find it. Okay, so find those pros and cons and put it into here. Okay, so that should then give you um, a, a minimum of three paragraphs. Okay, uh, the first paragraph is an introduction about the factors and then talking about those factors, which is here performance, user requirements, ease of use, user experience, accessibility and storage space and then the second paragraph are the pros and cons of using GUIs and then make a comparison with and contrast it with the pros and cons of menus.